Minister for Citizenship. Well, can I thank the member for more for his question and his interest in this matter. Earlier this week, Mr Speaker, the House passed the bill to underwrite the Skilling Australians Fund, which will be used to train up to 300,000 apprentices and trainees in skills shortages areas. And this fund will be paid for via a levy attached to each skilled work visa, such as the 457s. And of course, this is part of our broader suite of reforms to the 457 program that we are making. And Mr Speaker, our overall objective in making all of these reforms is to ensure that Australians get every opportunity of getting a job through either job creation or only bringing in overseas workers when absolutely necessary. And our record is very, very impressive, Mr Speaker, on this front, because when you go through it, A, we had record numbers of jobs being created. B, we had the lowest proportion of people on welfare in 25 years, so they're going to take those jobs. And the trifecta of this, Mr Speaker, is that we had almost half the number of people having to come from overseas in order to work in Australia. So it's a ter terrific trifecta for Australian workers. More jobs, more Aussies in jobs, and fewer people from overseas having to come into the country to fill skills shortages. And I'm asked, Mr Speaker, about alternatives. And while this government has a trifecta in favour of Australian workers, the Labor's record is exactly the opposite. So in their last year in office, jobs actually decreased. They decreased. The welfare queues extended by 250,000 people under the Labor Party. And while the welfare queues were extending by 250,000 people, they were bringing in record numbers of people from overseas into Australia on 457 visas. Mr Speaker, it's one thing to need 457 visa holders when the labour market is tight, but the Labor Party had welfare queues going for as far as the eye could see and yet we're still introducing record numbers of people from overseas to take the Australian jobs. And guess, Mr Speaker, guess who was in charge of their unholy trifecta? Guess who was in charge of the trifecta of fewer jobs, longer welfare queues and more overseas workers coming into this country? Guess who was the Workplace Relations Minister overseeing that unholy trifecta. Well, he sits opposite the Prime Minister now, Mr Speaker, and he wants to be the Prime Minister of this country. And if he does, we know where it will return to. It will be fewer jobs, it will be longer welfare queues and more people from overseas taking those jobs. Concluded.